attributes are new additions to Roblox Studio and they are really useful. They will replace value objects in a lot of uses. Every single object, including services, can have attributes. Some use cases of this can be like this. You can add attributes to scripts and change their functionality with ease. If you want to add an attribute, click on add attribute. Then you can select a name and a type for your attribute. This name has some limitations. For example, you can't use names starting with RBX or names with spaces. After creating one, you'll be able to set their values from Explorer, like how you set values for properties. However, you can't in scripts. As you can see here, you get an attribute with get attribute function. It will return the attribute value. I used an attribute called debug mode for this. You can use this in your games and turn it off when your job is done with that, so it won't flood the output. In the next example, I used a brick color value to set a parts brick color. And then I set a value called color set and set its value to true. So that's how you create attributes with scripts. There are two events of attributes and one of them is get attribute change signal. It will fire when the past attributes value gets changed. In this case, I change parts position with this vector 3 attribute. Next one is objects event. It's not an attribute event and it's called attribute changed. This will fire when an attribute of the object gets changed. We can test the attribute changed one with testing the game and going to server view. By the way, all of the attributes replicate. If I add one here, we will be able to see it from client. Like this. Anyways, if I change the position here, parts position will change too. That was it for this video. Hope you understood. See you in another one.